Hello everyone, Robert Fixit here, and we're gonna go ahead and look at this Windows 11. Uh, this is a fresh upgrade on a laptop that I just bought. I showed the pictures earlier. Just completed the upgrade. It took about 45 minutes. And this is what you can expect, basically, when you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So this is not a video about Windows 11, necessarily. This is just what's going to happen after you upgrade to Windows 11. And the one that I did before, I didn't uh, go over that. So looking here, uh, your start menu is gone. It was here, now it's here. Everything will go to the center. But the thing that I noticed on this computer and the desktop that I have that I upgraded, anyth anything that I had pinned here to the taskbar is gone. I'm not sure why. I'll have to look into that more. I'm sure it's there somewhere, but maybe I'm in the wrong view. Because if you go to, let's say, start and here or here, see it says unpin from taskbar, but I had already pinned it to the taskbar before. And I had the same problem in the other Windows 11 upgrade. So I went ahead and I repinned everything right here, right? All the way, like how I normally do it. And uh, my style is basically, I, I put all the things that I use often on the taskbar down here. So I did that. Then I would reboot or turn off the computer and come back and it's all gone. Even though it says it's pinned to the taskbar. So... Maybe it's just me, or maybe there's something about Windows 11 that I don't know yet. Because I upgraded to Windows 11 a, a long time ago, actually, before you can do it organically. I had, because I was in the Windows Insider program. So I was under the impression that it was just something wrong with the, um, the upgrade, because it wasn't the official upgrade. But this one here is the official upgrade, and the same thing is happening. So we'll have to figure that out. Um, the good news is the um, pinned, pinned items that I have here are still here. But you have to go, instead of being able to click from here, you have to go here and then here. Also, this is the weirdest thing. Google Chrome which I had installed on Windows 10 before I did the upgrade. When I click on the shortcut, which looks weird, it says, this is an unknown publisher. <laughs> so Windows 11 is now telling you that Google Chrome is not known and you basically have to tell it that it's okay to run. and. That's really weird because most of the people that I know run Google Chrome and not Edge because they don't really know what Edge is, even though Edge is actually Chrome. So they're pushing you basically back to try to go to Edge. And uh, they're telling you that it's an unknown program. Actually, even on Windows 10, when I installed Chrome, it, kept ask it was asking me, are you sure you want to install Chrome? Are you sure? Are you sure, sure? So... They don't really want you to use Chrome. You really should migrate to Microsoft Edge. I mean, it's I've I changed from Microsoft or I changed from Google Chrome to Edge a while back, and I made a video about that. And I really haven't had any problems. The only advantage I would say to Chrome is that any of your extensions that you might have in the browser over a year's time or many years time, they don't cross over necessarily to Edge easily. So if you're comfortable with Chrome, you're probably just going to stay with Chrome right now. But let's go ahead and see what we have here. So that's my laptop. Let's go to system and about. All of these things look different on Windows 11. And see, we have Windows 11 Pro. 
was a free upgrade from Windows 10. Um, the thing that I did notice on my desktop is that Windows 11 was way faster on my desktop. I haven't found that to be the case on this laptop so much. Uh, the uh, desktop had 16 gigs of memory and this one has eight. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, I had actually yeah, 16 on my desktop. I had 16 gigs and I had a core i7. So the specs on this computer are a little bit black. And maybe that's why it's not quite as fast, but it's not bad. Otherwise, I mean, most of these things are the same. A little bit about Windows 11, you're going to find that um, they've changed all these icons to more graphical type things. For example, um, let's see, let's go here. Like if you go to right click and copy here. See all the little graphical things are a little bit different. Right. But it's not bad. I mean you have to upgrade. It's not gonna it's gonna keep bugging you until you upgrade. You might as well just do it now and uh, figure out if there's any issues. Uh oh the other thing that happened is it it'll put Microsoft Teams right here. It puts a few things here that you wouldn't necessarily use. So you have to go to uh, these settings and basically turn them off. Like chat was there and task view was there. And, you know, this, I wish it would just let you have what you had before, but it changes it to what Windows 11 default is. And then you have to go ahead and figure out a way to change it back. But anyway, that's the upgrade. I finished it in about an hour. Haven't had any major problems. Runs about the same, but uh, you should just go ahead and, and upgrade. Upgrade before you have to, because if you do it when you have to, you might run into problems and then you can't work on your computer and you can run into all sorts of things. But uh, if you've completed your Windows upgrade, comment below and let me know what your experience was like. And thank you for watching.